lycra that you saw or the spandex there's actual pieces that are even much more rich in history too okay um so this collection is katie grant okay um and katie grant focused on the black and white aspect of mosquito so like i had previously stated um black and white always prominent colors in a mosquito collection um and she pretty much just focused on that she focused on the question mark and the motifs of the collection but then also you know branded a new slogan you know loud luxury you know when you wear a mosquito you stand out you know you're you're not a wallflower so to say um and that's pretty much what she focused on and you want to pull out some pieces because i yeah. i think when i'm trying to hold it and film it just i get yeah. in the way so so now this her. is to start with yes, um right her inspiration books. too so this is gone with the wind this was her inspiration as you can see i mean the classic motifs of the house yeah. the exclamation mark the question mark and then the heart um but this was pretty much her whole inspiration i love that um and now one of the pieces that i love absolutely is fabulous um, so this is direct archive inspiration, but reworked into um, more commercialized pieces. Um, this is inspired by dress number nine. Okay. Um, so Franco Moschino, um, when he was in tenure, he was tasked with making a sexy dress. Um, they were saying that, you know, there's, there's this certain sex appeal that is now appealing to a new generation that he needs to make something sexy. Um, so what he did is he took out some white paint and essentially drew the bodice of a woman on a dress I love and it. said, here's your sexy dress. <laughs> and here we have 40 years later to yes. the, the, the dress number nine, but reworked into a new generation. That is fantastic. Yeah. That yeah. is an amazing story. Yeah, yeah. And it's so fun. I super mean, cheeky, so fun. super fun. And certainly for people living yeah. in New York, we love our black <laughs> and we and love our white. Too. Yes, look at that. I remember that on the runway. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. It was amazing. So are there any sweaters of that or just the, the dress is, and the... So there is this one, which is actually see. one of my favorite looks. It oh, continues yes. the body all yeah. Oh my gosh. Let and me just... not only the front, but also the Let me get back. further back so we can see. That is amazing. I love that. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Just incredible. Are you ready to wear? Loud luxury. This is amazing. Now I have, I know this print. I have this um, in red wool with the black question mark on it. The original, one of the original ones. Super great, super great. This is definitely straight from the archives, this design. It's really clever how the end of the question mark is a white button. That's very clever. Okay, this is my favorite. Okay, can, I want you to hold this up. Let me get on the other side because the lighting is bad the other direction. This is one of my favorite things that Moschino did is they put stuff on the back. And at the time, it was very radical because you had your blazers, but you didn't have blazers with uh, embellishments or appliques or embroidery on the back and on the sleeves and on the front. So this is incredible that they brought this back. And let's see what the front looks like. Yeah, I love it absolutely amazing wow okay so i got that while you were tending to your customer so let's see what else we have in here so what we have this floral so now this is the men's pre-collection okay um this technically could be the first collection um after our creative director jeremy scott okay um you know the the main idea of this collection was a collegiate a collegiate boy you know okay. um essentially that college aesthetic you know you want to be hip you want to stand out you want to kind of make your mark when you're in college you know um and that's what this this collection is but then it also kind of has a futuristic take on that too this is pretty amazing i love that um how well the men are dressing these days like the whole kind of 
I think, to me personally, there's a resurgence in mm. men really dressing. Yeah. Menswear, menswear is, is booming. And the Moschino has always been a unique place where you could get some of this um, really stand out. Oh, here's the teddy bear. This incredible. Oof. You can't have a men's Moschino collection without a statement suit. No, that's true. <laughs> it's amazing, <laughs> amazing. We've got then some very wearable. I, I mean, I like because, I mean, sometimes, you know, things aren't as wearable as they could be, mm -hmm. right? But absolutely. they have absolutely gone to lengths to make make it a piece you can actually go yeah. out and wear. Yeah. And I love that because everyone, um, I think a lot of times you want to celebrate a brand, but maybe it doesn't fit you well, or maybe there's you know something in the cut that doesn't work for you, but where you have accessories or shoes and something that's very functional, I think it gives you a chance to celebrate the brand. Yeah, and now a little tidbit on these too. Um, so every, aside from designing a whole collection, one of the main tasks was to create a tote bag. Um, and now this is Katie Grant's. Um, oh once again, focusing on the classic motifs of the question mark and the exclamation mark. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. Just adorable. Super and they're clean, little tiny. Chic. You can take that to dinner with your little black dress is your little amazing bag. I think this is one of my favorites too, because I mean, the handle is an exclamation mark, you know? That is so great. Kind of. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Let's keep looking. Love these. Mm -hmm. Adorable. I'll tell you the, what I remember, because I'm uh, older than you, <laughs> is um, back in the day, I remember my first remembrance of Moschino is inside Saks Fifth Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia. And they had black shoes with the smiley face on them, yeah. the black pumps, mm -hmm. which I have in my yeah. archive. Yeah, yeah. Classic black pumps with a white smiley mm -hmm. face. I, I, I was just like, I don't understand what's happening here, yeah. but I sure like yeah, it. Yeah. Like I'd never seen anything like it. I remember that in the puzzle suit. Those are my earliest memories. And I just love, just love all that coming back. So here's more menswear, which I think is amazing. Very wearable, this whole kind of urban aesthetic, which is perfect for New York. Um, I love this. Very wearable. This is more toned down if you don't want to stand out as brightly and let your personality shine a little more. <laughs> this is amazing. Have to get the right angle on it so we can see it. I love this jacket with the green on it. It's very wearable. Great for going out, making a statement. Yeah. I love this. And more men's, okay. Yes. <laughs> let me get this size so we can see it. Wow. Oh, this is fun. Do you want to talk about yeah. this? Is so very this is, bright. This fun. is actually part of our uh, resort collection too. So okay. this is we got a little taste of that in the back with the okay. red and the stripes. Um, all of the scarves that you see on here are all archive. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. I love that silk. This. Once again, the statement suit. Yes. Are there matching pants for that? There are. Well, of course there are. Wow. Yes, absolutely. I, I just amazing, amazing statement. So great for you know special events in in LA <laughs> yeah. or in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're back to the tour is almost over. Oh my goodness. Back to this is that spring collection. Mm -hmm. The forty, the forty year spring. Yes. Okay. Perfect. This has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, and we have just some shoes over here for women, and then we will have basically seen it all other than accessories. We have some very wearable pieces here. This uh, will be perfect for New Yorkers. Looking for a little waist bag. And uh, we have this amazing, I have this one in red. This is the water they offered me, which is lovely. Okay, all right. We're gonna end with some women's shoes here. This is adorable. That matches the skirt we saw mm -hmm. earlier. So this is also uh, part of Gabriella's collection too. Okay. I think 
that's like a dream job of mine to be asked to design a collection. Like yeah. Jenny, after you've been studying the archive for all these years, come design a collection for us. Are you kidding? After you pick me up off the floor, I would say, sure. Here's the classic. Now this earring is really the classic earring for Miss Dino. It's very simple, and yet at the time it was pretty extraordinary. You know, it this loop. And are these um? These so are these are clip-ons, clip which yes. is very, very retro. Yeah, this is the classic, classic mosquito earring. Love it, <laughs> love it. And then of course the logo belt, logo bracelets, logo necklaces. Um, can't get enough of those. Are these? I want to ask you a very specific question because yeah. someone asked me recently if the metal was plated or not, or I if believe, it's just a gold. I believe tone. it is plated so, for okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, Hugo, this has been amazing. For sure. Thank you so much for, sure, for giving for sure. me a little tour of the Moschino here in Soho <laughs> in New York. And um, I am purposely not on this video, <laughs> but I will get a few photos of, sure. of Hugo and myself <laughs> that we will add in here. And I just it's thank you so much. You. Oh, thank you for sharing your insight with me. I've learned a lot. We're just gonna try not to get these customers in here. I was gonna end on the logo. See if I can do that without them, and I can. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.